All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Sorry it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a Project Zomboid video, but uh, if you've seen my channel recently, you know I've been uh, di I've dived head deep into fucking um, DayZ standalone and DayZ uh, the mod uh, overpock. So I've been playing those games for about the last two weeks just on it, you know, but um, I decided, man, I still can't just let go of my favorite series that... Uh, really got my channel started and uh that's gonna be ksp project zomboid uh i just uh finished doing a banished video so we're back we're back in, back in project zomboid and uh i'm ready to have some fun that doesn't involve dodging uh stray sniper bullets and daisy <laughs> so man up oh, raining time to go back in the house i um Remember that I was planning on going to the prison with the supplies that I had because I didn't want to make this a, a permanent base. But now that I've got the majority of the supplies that I need, like all the food and stuff and the supplies that I need to get it started. Wait, is the power still on? Wait, come on. Alright, so yeah. I have the supplies that I need here. So if we look in here, we have ammo, building supplies. Uh, some uh, a couple of tent pegs, a tarp, so I can make a tent. We have a uh, most of the stuff we need to get us up and running, you know, to build us a base at the uh, prison. So I plan on going to the prison and uh, building a base there. Let's see what we have here. More ammo. Yep. So basically, we have the stuff that we need. So this is just going to be a quick. Uh, you know warm-up video to get me back into project zomboid i want to try to pack my stuff up and see how much stuff i can actually carry without going overweight and then i want to make it out to the prison and deliver the first load of goods which is probably going to be the um food yep most of this food is rotten but i'll take the stuff that's not as you can see we have plenty of seeds and plenty of stuff inside the cabinets <clears throat> that we can use to get ourselves started on the farming so I'm going to probably take all of the food and some of the weapons with me on the first trip. And we'll take that back and we'll basically uh, get the... Oh yeah, it's raining too hard. Yeah, we'll get the, the prison up and running as far as like our little farming. We'll get some of that up and running. We'll get the farming going. We'll get some water collection going up so we can get some barrels up and running. And uh, then we'll come back for the second run and then we'll bring all the weapons and ammo and stuff like that on with us. And then we'll move out to the prison, and that, that'll become our main base of operations, which I'll be able to, uh, you know, basically I can uh, operate out of there because kind of the place where I place the prison is um, in a good spot. It's close to Moldry. I can go, uh, uh, I believe it's north, and go to uh, West Point, or I can go to New Denver, you know, come back through Moldry and then head over to New Denver, which isn't a, really a bad trip, you know, can, you know, how far it is away on the map. It might take me like 20 or 30 minutes to run there, but I really want to see, uh, you know, the uh, New Denver. I want to definitely see New Denver. Let's see what we have here. Nothing that's good. Yeah, I want to see No Denver, to, but I don't want to spawn there and just have to start a new character just to see the town. I'm going to stick with this. Uh, I'm basically going to stick with this game and this save as far as exploring the whole super map idea. That's why I built, uh, installed the prison you know directly by Moldry because it's kind of like the central point so basically everybody's already seen Moldry we're not gonna stay here too long this is just gonna be passed through grab supplies stay alive you know that, that type of situation and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to the different cities first I think I'll probably go to um because we I, I've already showed you guys a lot of uh, the other towns and stuff like that so definitely after we get the prison up and running as far as our um you know I saw a zombie over here yeah, as, as, as long as I can find a way to get back over here to my main brace to the prison, then I won't have a problem. But I want to definitely go to New Denver. We're going to run over there after we get the uh, base at the prison up and running. So, Walking Dead Prison. Yeah, because I have all of the uh, map mods that you can get for Project Zomboid installed. I think except for one new one that just came out that I haven't really had time to check out because I've been on a Daisy standalone. So probably go up here and let this guy go to sleep if he can he needs to eat something let's sleep for seven hours yeah so uh we're gonna get the base up and running at the uh prison 
once that gets up and running then we'll start exploring i'll get uh some gear that i need to make the long trick uh trek up there to the new town i really want to explore i want to go to uh new denver to see how it actually works actually going there in map so people can kind of see how it is it's going to be instead of just spawning there and then having to work your way back so yeah this is going to be a quick update video today guys about what my plans are for project zomboid and project zomboid is definitely back so we will start getting more videos out probably uh my normal schedule of uh three videos a week for project zomboid one video every week to two weeks on my ksp because those videos uh even though i have quite a bit of footage uh it's really really hard to edit it all down because in you know in ksp you're basically playing for two three hours at a time recording and then you have to kind of compress that down into a few minutes uh of the good parts and stuff like that so uh, we're definitely going to get some more videos out like that, and we're definitely going to get some more Banished videos out. So I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. And uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and like the video if you like the video. And uh, we'll be back with some more Project Zomboid real soon.